Chief Government Whip Minister Gayanth Karunathilaka presented a report to Parliament today on the events of July 1983, also known as Black July, which saw much loss of life and vandalism of property and forever changed the course of our nation. However challenging even the lowest estimates thus far of the number of deaths caused by the pogrom, the report claims that only seven Tamils were killed in the rioting during Black July. On the 29th of July, opposition MP Uday Gamampile raised a question on how many Tamils lost their lives during the riots of July 1983. The chief government whip presented the report to Parliament today on behalf of Law and Order Minister Sagala Ratnayaka. The report reads that only seven Tamils lost their lives during the Black July riots and that no injuries were recorded. All accepted sources note that thousands of people were killed during the racial riots at the time. No one can estimate the exact amount, but the accepted estimate is that thousands were killed. Following the strike of 1980, 75,000 people lost their jobs. This is the legacy of his 40-year career. At that time, he was just a novice. He's all grown up now. Having studied all of this as a novice, now as a grown-up, he is preparing to further that criminal program once again. <laughs> Thousands of people were killed. Damages were estimated in the hundreds of millions. Money was set on fire. Shops, cars and buses were set on fire. So many lives were lost in 1983. Now, after all that has happened, they are answering in the present that only seven people were killed. This is the world's best comedy. How many homes were set on fire with families still inside? I am sad that such a statement has been made seemingly unaware of what happened. The Parliament of Sri Lanka has become a place which can no longer maintain law and order. This is not done. He must resign.